all this death. Tinker, what are we going to do? Do you think anyone survived in the village? Maybe at the castle? Tinker, heal! What is it? Did you find something, boy? Why are you shouting here? You'll bring those heathens. I, I have to get out of here and find the others and warn them. How did you survive the attack? I uh, hid at the top of the hill and stayed there until it got dark and the screaming stopped. The whole of Skelets was in flames. I know. I saw it too. I wanted to go to Talmberg to warn them, but when I was climbing down in the dark, I... Lost my footing and went rolling down like a sack of charcoal. I, I'm black and blue all over. You're injured. Can I do anything to help? Something's wrong with my leg. I, I twisted it when I fell. And I managed to limp here to this path. But now I'm all done in. Let me have a look at that leg. Maybe I can manage to set it. Uh, all right. But please, be careful. Hmm. It seems you were lucky. It doesn't look like anything's broken. If there was, the skin would be turning blue by now. Keep that leg raised for a while. And when you go, try not to put too much weight on it. Find a branch or a stick to lean on. All right. Thanks. I reckon I can manage to get up now. But would you help me as far as the road? The going will be easier there. I'll help you. Lean on me. I'll manage it from here. But which way should I go? Go to Tomberg, like the others. And tell them what happened here and to send help. All right. I won't forget your kindness. But what are you going to do now? I'll go to the castle. To see if anyone survived there. If you're not afraid to go there, you could look around the small holdings near Skelets or the mine works. People took cover wherever they could when the raid started. May God watch over you, Teresa.
stable. You stood up to them. You were always the brave one. I'll come back and bury you. In hallowed ground. Like you deserve. Pa. If you can see me now, I'm sorry. So sorry. Give my love to Ma. This is our house. What's left of it? I can't believe it. Such devastation. Why? What are you doing here? How come you didn't flee like the others? I can't. There's one of those bastards creeping around out there. What? Where did you see him? The army has pulled out and moved on. He must be a deserter. He keeps looking around here for what he can steal. And he looked like he was pretty drunk. You must help me. You've got to get rid of him. Otherwise, I'll die here. And how am I supposed to get rid of this deserter? Kill him? He's an armed soldier. You could try lying in wait for him and catching him by surprise. He keeps wandering around here looking for something. Have no mercy on him. He didn't either. Do you know if anyone else survived? I... I don't know, Teresa. They killed William. He tried to run. But they had horses, and they... That's all right, Yarmila. I understand. Pa and Stebor and Sammy. They didn't make it either. 
I'm left all alone. Oh, you poor lass. How can God allow such things? I'm not going to let anyone else die. I'll help you. Just wait here, and I'll come and tell you when it's safe to leave. All right. Thanks, Teresa. And be careful. Aztán igen, passza meg! Mit keresel itt? Vélet? About fleeing. You've nothing to fear. I dealt with that deserter. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd never get away from here alive. Thanks, Teresa. If you hadn't turned up, I'd be done for. For sure. That's all right. Go to Tomberg and tell the people there what's happened. I'll have a look around for other survivors.
Don't be afraid, it's me, Maros. <laughs> have to find Pavlena. She got lost when we were running in the night. It's still not safe here. Shouting like that is asking for trouble. But I have to find her. I can't leave without her. Will you help me? Where did you see her last? In the woods here. We were hiding from those demons. I didn't think they'd come here, but when it was getting dark... They found us. They came upon us from behind. I think we surprised them as much as they did us. We started to run and... It was horrible. One arrow missed me by a hair. I thought I was done for. I ran and ran and then... I found myself alone. I lost those bastards, but... Pavlena too. I have to find her. What was Pavlina wearing? The same as always. A blue dress, and she had a scarf on her head. You should keep your voice down. There could still be cutthroats within earshot. But... But I've got to find Pavlena! I've got to help her! Don't be afraid, it's me, Maddox! Pavlina! Don't be afraid, it's me, Maddox! Pavlina! This must be that Pavlina that Maddox was looking for. Dead. I should go and tell him. Pavlina! Where are you? About Pavlina. I found her. You did? Where? Why isn't she with you? I'm sorry, but she's dead. They must have caught up with her when they were chasing you. Oh, no, no, no. My Pavlena. I should never have left her like that. I thought, I thought she was right behind me. Jesus, what am I going to do? You should flee and save yourself at least. I, I don't know what to do now. Where can I go? Go to Tomberg and tell them everything. Sir Divish will send help, and... And then we'll come back and bury our loved ones. I promise. All right. What about you? I'll keep looking around for other survivors. If I had half your courage, Pavlena might still be alive. Oh, God. Take this. Maybe you'll come across someone who needs it. God be with you.
Julian? Is it you? Don't be afraid. It's me, Teresa. Are you all right? Everywhere. They're everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? You're one of the woodcutters, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Cutter. Where is it? Quick! They're everywhere! Julian, you're not making any sense. Where's what? I don't understand you. Cutter! Woodcutter! They're everywhere! I need it! Oh my god! What happened here? Did anyone else survive? They came. From everywhere, everywhere! Where is it? How did you survive? You were left here amongst... amongst all these bodies? Everywhere. You've got to get out of here, Julian. Pull yourself together. No. They're everywhere. Cutter! Listen. If you stay here, they might come back and kill you. You wouldn't want that, would you? No! Cutter! Where is it? This is going nowhere. This is hopeless. How am I going to get through to you? Cutter! Where is it? Cutter! Cutter! Julian, pull yourself together. Here's your axe. That's what you were looking for, right? Now you'll be safe. Cutter! Yes! My cutter! Good, Julian. And now, get to Tomberg. The others are already on the way there. Run like the devil and don't look back. Tomberg! Yes!
only I hadn't lost that damn key. Fuck it. Budge. If only I hadn't lost that damn key. Master Potter? What in the name of God are you doing here? I'm trying to get into my goddamn house. What for? You ought to flee like everyone else. I've got coin hidden there. I'm not going to just walk off and leave it. Listen, maybe you could help me. I've heard you mill people know how to... how to deal with these kind of things. What are you implying? That I'm a thief? Come now. Don't play the innocent. We all know your father is no saint. You must have learned some secrets of the trade from him, no? My father is dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, lass. Uh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Why can't you unlock the door? Don't you have the key? Of course I do. That is, I did, but I lost it. I was bringing firewood from the woods. Just as I got to the footbridge, I saw that huge army. I dropped everything and ran home as fast as I could. I must have dropped that blasted key on the way. How did you manage to survive? I hid out on top of the haystack until morning. Those Edens were sniffing around, but something disturbed them and they ran to the village. It's still not safe here. Coin is no use to a dead man. You ought to flee to Tomberg while you can. And leave my life savings to pillagers and footpads? Not a chance. Where do you think you might have dropped the key? I'm not sure. It must have been somewhere along the path from the woods. After I passed the footbridge, I was carrying firewood when the raid started. I dropped everything and ran. The key must have fallen on the way. All right. I'll try and get that coin for you, but I can't promise anything. Where is it hidden? This damn door is as solid as a rock. All right. Once you get inside, go to the pantry on the left. There's a sack of apples in there. And the purse is hidden right at the bottom of it. Get it and bring it to me. Meanwhile, I'll keep watch here. Damn this fucking door!
Hey.
There really is a purse full of grosh in here. And a pretty heavy one, too. But I don't have any money on me. We'll see about that. Show me everything you have. Oh, I swear I don't have anything. Cut the horseshit. Strip off and shake out those clothes. And if I don't hear the jingle of coin, there'll be hell to pay. For God's sake. Isn't it enough that we have foreign cutthroats descending on us without being robbed by our own people? Shut the fuck up and get on with it. I ain't your people. What have I ever done to anyone? Mother of God, have mercy on me. I'm telling you for the last time, cough up the coin or suffer the consequences. And I'm telling you for the last time. I don't fucking have any. And even if I had, I'd rather die than give it to a piece of shit like you. I've had enough of you, you scum. I warned you, now you're for it. My God Almighty, with all the horror that's going on, he wouldn't have thought twice about killing us on account of money. People can be swine. They see a corpse and come swooping down like carrion crows. You shouldn't feel bad about it. He got what he deserved. Take the money. Take it and go to Tomberg. Warn them there and tell them to send help. I'll have a look around the village for survivors. I'll do that. Take care of yourself, Teresa.
just about enough of you. That's, uh, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You've been through it yourself. I know you understand. There's something else I'd like to ask. Remember how we were sore fighting together? The next morning, Ma scolded me on account of that scratch on my hand. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. Ah, it's all water under the bridge now. I never told her it was you who did it. I just wish you could have covered my back, too. She was angry that I was at sword training instead of working in the forge. And she said you told her. Your pa and Stebor were really stealing from the royal mines. Jesus. I don't think even Fritz and Matthew would take that kind of chance. And there's not much that pair won't do for an easy groschen. Yeah. In a way, I can understand that Pa did it for us, but it was really irresponsible. You won't tell anyone, will you? I won't. I promise. So what happened to the silver? Pa handed it over, as always, to that slimy fellow, and he took it away. What happened to it then, I don't know. Your Pa really wanted to marry you off to Master Tobias? Yes. Can you believe it? And have you spoken to Master Fayfar since... since the raid? I haven't. Either he's lost interest, or he's forgotten about me. Not that I'm complaining. Uncle Peshek would be happy to marry me off too, especially if there was something in it for him. I'm glad that's in the past. Aye, I don't blame you. So Johanka and Matthias finally got together. Oh, if it hadn't been for everything that happened afterwards, who knows? They could be headed for the altar. But that little intrigue with the dice... I never thought you'd stoop to stealing. It was all in a good cause. Johonka would never have plucked up the courage to talk to him otherwise. And in the end, her harebrained scheme actually worked. Who knows? Maybe the two of them will get together again. Bianca told me something about your little expedition to the woods. You really ran into a wolf. I thought Bianca must have been imagining things. Not exactly. It was actually a wild dog, but... Paul used to say those are even worse than wolves. It's a good thing you were there with Bianca. Bianca told me something about your little expedition to the woods. She was flaunting that ring all day. I was worried for a while that she had some other suitor who gave it to her. No, no. Unless you can count a magpie. Going back to help the survivors. That was very brave of you. When I went back to Scallitz, I met no one but footpads and cutthroats. If you hadn't come along, I doubt I'd be here to tell the tale. You know what our parish priest always used to say? Without Christian charity, we'd all soon be dead. I couldn't just leave you all to your fate, could I? Any good Christian would have done the same. No, well, I'm not so sure. Not everyone has your courage. Did you go back to Scalitz again, to bury your pa and your brothers? Yes, along with some more of our neighbours. We had an escort from the Ratai garrison, with Sir Hanish's kind permission. Where are they buried? Sammy's buried near the mines. He didn't like the mines, but his grave is on the hill where I used to meet him for lunch. He loved it there. I know it's not consecrated ground, but what could I do? God will understand. I buried Ma and Pa under the linden tree by our house. It's what they would have wanted. Yes. Father and Stebo are buried in the churchyard in Rovna. Once things settle, we'll be able to go back and pay our respects. And get the priest to bless their graves. I have no more questions. Thank you for telling me about everything, Teresa. I know it isn't easy to talk about.
It helped to talk to someone who knows what it's like. Thank you. I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. Yeah, so am I. And I'm glad you did, too. By the way, Henry, I have something for you. The soldiers gave it to me when we brought you from Skalitz. I meant to give it to you earlier, but, you know, it belonged to one of the Skalitz garrison. They wanted me to have it for being brave, but I hope I'll never have use for such a thing. Oh? How come? What is it? It's a shield with the Skalitz crest. I'd like you to have it, to protect you, and as a keepsake from home. Sure. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks for everything. Uh